new secret weapons at Condé Nast. Well, not so secret. Don Ostroff joined the company to start Condé Nast Entertainment. Welcome. Thank you. So you come from the CW, UPN, running these huge networks, to Condé Nast, which is a magazine company, extremely successful at what we do, but no one's really made successful TV out of magazines. So how does that work? How, how, does, how are you thinking about this in a, in a new way? Well, there's a bit of a, of a revolution going on because when you start to look at the technology that is now not only out there, but that actually is working so beautifully, mm -hmm. you know that it's all about brands, it's all about content, and it's going to all work on many different platforms. The magazine brands really lend themselves to being taken from magazines and put on different platforms in different entertainment forms. And right. that's what excites me. It's not just the brands themselves, it's the talent that is also within this building, such right. as, you know, you, you've been on television, you're on TV all the time. Right. Um, so there are lots of exciting people who are working here. Plus, there's so much interesting content that lends itself to good features, good television shows, right. and then we're going to explore a lot of digital options, you know, digital channels, and so many different things are happening every day that we want to be at the forefront of wherever technology is going to take. You do get props for starting women's shows, young women's shows, Veronica Mars and Gossip Girl, things that a lot of people didn't take that audience as seriously, so you get props for that. So one of the things we saw at the CW, and you know, we targeted young women at the CW, and young men to, to, for, for that uh, matter, but you know, it's young people, 18 to 34 year olds. And there is absolutely no difference for them whether they're watching something on a TV set, right. online, on a tablet, or on their phone. And right. so the idea is that everything is going to be mobile. Everything is going to be everywhere, anywhere you want to get it. Can you see a Connie Nass channel? Could you ever envision that, or are we thinking more like the Self Magazine show? Well, I think the beauty of what I'm going to do here is explore everything, because okay. you know, for the first time, there's a real excitement about seeing what can be done. Mm -hmm. So there's there's not going to be anything that we won't look at, and the opportunities are really endless. But what's great about Self is that you have such a positive attitude: how to be the best you, how to you try, and that means you know, be the best you on every level, which is not only physical; it's also you know what's inside as well right. and it is hard to figure out how to you know translate that to television but if you do mm -hmm. like Oprah did you know it's you a home run it. because that is such right. a core important right. message for women so I have this screenplay no I'm kidding um, so the question I have for you also You're not is, the first one no no I'm <laughs> I am actually teasing when you look at you know what a hit is today you think of a hit as you know it's dancing with the stars or it's you know, it's a scripted show. What is going to be the, the best way to determine a hit in the future? I think what's most important is that you either stay true to the brand because mm -hmm. you've worked years at developing a mm -hmm. brand that clearly works, has a loyal audience. And so how do you take what you've already built and translate it onto another platform? And that could have many different meanings because mm -hmm. all the brands are so different. You know, in the case of self, we'd have to look at sort of what the opportunities are for, for, for the brand and how do we make sure that we don't do anything to compromise what's already been built. Right. So, Don, you are immensely successful. You ran UPN, CW, and now you're here to run Condé Nast Entertainment. What advice do you give a younger woman coming up in your wake who wants to be you? You know, what would you tell her? If you work at your craft, whatever it may be, you will be given a shot. And the question is, are you ready when the door, you know, opens? And so that's really what the job is of anybody starting out is to work at their craft, make sure that they are ready, that when the knock of the door comes and they're being offered an opportunity, wow. that they are ready for it and they will shine once they get it. That's powerful stuff. All right. Tell your daughters, be ready when the door opens. I love it. Thank you very much, John.